people ready. But first, tomorrow at Disneyland Park, the new Tiana's Bayou Adventure water ride is going to a officially open. Our Danny Messon is the lucky one who got to go live to Disneyland today to tell us all about it. So Danny, I hear you got to ride the ride already. So what did you think? Oh, and Kirika, the ride is amazing from the music to the different characters. It's just crazy what they can do when they transform these rides into something different. But we've got Beth here who's been standing by to tell us more just about this ride, more about the experience. Let's talk about the storyline first, though. Sure. Yeah, so the story of this attraction takes place about a year after the events of the film. Um, it's Mardi Gras season again. Tiana has a brand new business. She's throwing a big celebration in honor of all of the people who work for her business. Um, but there's been a little bit of a mix up and they don't have a band for the party. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> Oops. So, <laughs> Tiana has invited us to come join her at Tiana's Foods for, uh, to, to go with her and Lewis out into the bayou to search for musicians. And we might get a little bit of help magical help for Mama Odie along the way. Oh yes, I, I know that part you're talking about with the magical help. Yes. I know exactly what you're talking yes. about. So the music, there's some really cool music that goes along with this ride. There's even a new song at the very end when you're kind of finishing out the ride. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so there is a brand new original song um, written, produced, performed by PJ Morton, son of New Orleans, Grammy Award winner, vocals by Anika Noni Rose, who is the original voice of Princess Tiana. Um, and you do hear that in the finale of the attraction, yes. Okay, we've got the log drop right behind us. That is an epic part of the ride. I did it yesterday. I was really trying to uh, keep it together, but there's quite, there's quite other few drops in there too. There are, and you know what? It's the hidden one. That's the one that's gonna get you. Prank your ponchos. Yes. <laughs> I wore the poncho. Um, people were making fun of me, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sport the poncho because you do get wet. It's the smart thing to do. Yes. yes. Okay. Tell me about what it takes to really transform uh, a ride into something different. Because it was Splash Mountain before. Now Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort from hundreds of people to transform these rides. We were in design and development for several years, and then we were in construction for almost a year and a half. Yeah, and you guys officially open tomorrow. So just how excited are you to really see people get to ride it for the first time and see their reaction? We're so excited just to have a brand new Tiana, Princess Tiana attraction here at Disneyland. Um, and the opening day is always the best day. You know, that's what makes the whole thing worthwhile is seeing the smiles in the guest space and seeing their excitement. And now, why Tiana's Bayou? Why transform it into this theme? Well, you know, it's a perfect fit, honestly. We have New Orleans Square here at Disneyland right next door. So who else would we invite into the neighborhood? <laughs> all right, all good stuff. We did just get to check out New Orleans Square too. So I totally know what you're talking about, how it all kind of intertwines. It fits perfectly. Beth, thank you so much. Maybe I'll have to go get on the ride again. I don't know. Like, you guys you guys were definitely, you were watching my reactions. I think I'm ready to go take it on again. <laughs> Send it back to you. Well, Danny, I think you should as well. For one for all of us, since you are the one that got the chance. So, yeah, take one in my honor. I got you. I'll just go multiple times. Keep going. Exactly. One for each person. That's all I ask. <laughs> all right, Danny, thank you so much.